Britain's start has an incredible history. Over 153 years of standing champion stallions and producing racetrack stars. And now they've expanded into Victoria, standing first season sires Russian Camelot and Doubtland in 2021. Phil, it's been great to see Widden start expand its historic operation into Victoria. Tell us some of the, the work you've already done on the property to, to complement your famous Widden Valley Farm. Yeah, Caroline, that's right. It's it's terrific to have Widden down down in Victoria. As we all know, it's it's such a great brand. It's got a great history around it. So to have them down here in Victoria is just magnificent. Look, the farm has come a long way in just a few months. There's been a lot of money spent on infrastructure. Of course, four new stallions on the property already. We're already close to putting up the fully booked signs on both Doubtland and Russian Camelot, which, you know, in all my life being in Victoria, it's not happened before the season started before. And here comes Russian Camelot with a big bounding run. Well, looking at Russian Camelot, first of all, one of the new boys down there, what an incredible story he's been. Who'd have thought a, a European bred three-year-old could achieve what he did, the first Northern Hemisphere three-year-old to win an Australian classic? Yeah, it's quite amazing, isn't it, Caroline, to have a horse like him come down here, do what he's done. Remember, he was six months behind just about everything else he was running against. To win a South Australian derby, to win an Underwood, then just become probably an elite miler. Um, let's not forget, unfortunately, he suffered that injury in the All-Star Mile, and he, he ran through that, ran a huge race, an enormous race to run second. He was anti-post favourite for the Doncaster, and just just a wonderful horse and it's such a shame we didn't get to see what well, the australian public didn't get to see the, the the best of him right he would have been a, a really elite horse over the next 12 to 18 months it's a huge privilege to have him here there was a lot of interest from a number of farms both in australia and new zealand so to have him here at widden victoria is just such a great privilege he obviously was a, a lovely type and he was identified as being able to suit the Australian sort of racing scene right from the outset. He's a beautiful horse. Um, I didn't get the, get the chance to see him as a yearling, of course, but I can only imagine, like, looking how he is now, he would have really stood out. Danny is just, he's run out of superlatives for this horse. He reckons he's the best horse he's trained and likely to be the best horse he'll ever train. And, and for a young trainer like that, with a career ahead of him, for him to say he's probably the best horse he'll ever train is some statement. And he's by Camelot. I mean, he has that beautiful quality. Camelot is just a stunning looking stallion. One of the, the real greats by Montjeu, continuing that great Saddler's World sire line. And his dam side is so strong, Russian Camelot as well, with the, the Saddler's Wells there as well. It's a pedigree that that screams breed shaper, doesn't it? I mean, Camelot himself has got the chance to be a breed shaper. He nearly won the Triple Crown. Camelot himself has been a tremendous sire in a very short period of time. The sire of seven Group 1 winners. And, and in the Southern Hemisphere, his stats are even better. He works off approximately 9% stakes winners to runners in the Southern Hemisphere. He's a tremendous sire, and, and if Russian Camelot can follow in his footsteps, he's going to be an elite sire. And when you're thinking about the horses he beat, you know, that he was racing against these tough, hard and seasoned multiple Group 1 winners, you're talking about Arcadia Queen Humidor. I mean, he really was incredible. He ran against some of the best didn't he and and horses that were sometimes many years in front of him with experience we, we all think that the best years were were to come with this horse so it was a great shame that his career was cut short but he was able to run against and and beat arcadia queen who was at that time the very very top of her game and he was a long way behind her in both of in both age and experience. So to do that was something to to hold in great stead for the, for Russian Camelot. It just goes to show that he was a, a serious racehorse. With so much prize money on on offer, you know, those classic three year old races, a mile uh, out to two thousand two four, it just seems like they're perfect for him. He's such a high class horse. Of course, his sire Camelot has had phenomenal statistics and success down here in Australia. And, uh, and this horse, he's going to be a real breed shaper in the same way you've seen a horse like Savabil just stand out and dominate 
in New Zealand. I think Russian Camelot can do the same here in Australia. But Doubtland is starting to rip right away from them. Oh, this is a demolition job. And the other first season sign who's so exciting is Doubtland, a million dollar yearling, of course, through the English Easter yearling sale. And of course, he's by not a single doubt. And what a great sign he's become in the last few years, a, a son and a grandson winning the Golden Slipper. Having a, a son of not a single doubt down here and also a son of not a single doubt up in the Hunter with Anders is, is a great achievement for Widden. Uh, a great sire of two-year-olds, a great sire of sprinter and one of the one of the most commercial sires still, still going around. The Hawks team absolutely loved him. They think he was the pick of the, all the yearlings they bought that year, which for a trainer like John and Wayne and Michael Hawks to say that is, is truly exceptional. But you see him here today and he's just an absolute legend of a horse he really is he goes about his business like he's done it a million times before he's got an exceptional temperament on him he's a tremendous looking horse he's difficult to fault confirmationally if he can throw those good looks that speed and and most of all that temperament into his progeny I, I think we'll have a really good sire of two-year-olds on our hands. Rick Jamison, who spends a lot of time looking at matings, he was uh, very keen to be involved in this horse because he said when he did his matings, he just blew up his computer. Uh, when you drill into his pedigree, you have so many options and uh, so many things you can capitalise on. So he's going to be a real superstar down there in the Victorian staying ranks for years to come. And it was really good to have Star Witness and Nakoni get down to the farm early, really to, to let some Victorian mare owners have a look at these two boys who've done such an incredible job from their Hunter Valley base. Two of the most proven stallions in the country, aren't they? Nakoni and Star Witness, both of whom signed another 100 winners last season. But to have two great warriors of horses, really, in Star Witness and Nakoni, the proven boys, they just really complement each other so, so well. Look, it's a really exciting time, certainly a busy time of the year. You know, fall, falls on the ground, stallions covering, and the new boys are really loving loving their new job. Like, you see them today here in the paddock. They're, they're as happy as Larry. They're, I don't know if they'd want to go back to the ra racing game anymore. They certainly love it here, and they're having the time of their lives. The G1 gold mine analysis of Russian Camelot highlights his double cross of Sadler's Wells in his third generation. When Camelot is crossed back with his grandsire Sadler's Wells, the Group 1 winners to runners rate sits at just over 3% and stakes winners at 9.3%. These stats highlighted by French Group 1 winner Wonderment. Looking at Russian Camelot's dam sire Cape Cross combining with Danehill, that cross has nearly 3% Group 1 winners to runners and over 10% stakes winners to runners, including Breeders' Cup mile winner Order of Australia and British St Ledger winner Galileo Chrome. If you have a Danehill mare to send to Widden, Victoria, check out their website for a free G1 Goldmine report.